we're back at another one again, you guys. We're here at the Children's Hospital downtown on East Thomas Road. Um, Katie is not feeling so good. She said her throat was hurting her this morning. She was hard for her to swallow. And plus her heart was kind of racing. So um, we were right here at the Children's Hospital waiting to see what's going on with my baby. So, um, I want to take a look at her. She Say hi, boo -boo. She's feeling, she's looking sad. She's looking a little sick. And she was crying. She was watching Toy Story. So we're right here at the Children's Hospital. Trying to um, see what's going on with her throat and why she can't swallow. <clears throat> why she can't swallow. And she's been blowing out them big old gigantic boogers. I want water. You want water? Mm -hmm. No, don't push the. Kayla, please. Don't do that. Well, the nurse will be back in here in a minute. You can't drink anything until you be seen. So you have to wait till the doctor come. Okay? All right? Okay. How do you feel now? I'm hungry. You're hungry. We have to see what's going on. But you said you couldn't swallow, right? You think you could be able to swallow? Mm -hmm. I made her some tea earlier. Something nice and warm. Um, and she, you was, was able to drink the tea? Ma, yesterday I was eating, but my throat was hurting. Yesterday. Why you didn't tell me yesterday your throat was hurting? You never did say nothing was hurting you. Yesterday I was hurting, but the next morning I was sleeping and um... It really started hurting? Yeah. How come you didn't tell me yesterday that it started hurting? Um, TV made me feel better yesterday, but it started hurting very bad, very bad. The TV made it stop hurting? Is that what you said? How did the TV make it stop hurting? You just forgot about it? So you forgot about the pain because you was watching TV? Mm -hmm. Don't, don't. Mm -hmm. That sounds so to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you laugh. Mm -hmm. So this morning you was crying because you just said you couldn't swallow. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Mm -hmm. You got a spit? Mm -hmm. And I'm just trying to make sure that you're all right. And why? Why you got a uh, mouth full of saliva? You you afraid to swallow it? You want to spit it out? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we just up here to make sure that you're okay. To make sure that you feel better. Yeah. Oh, that's linen. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, we're here, guys. I'll let you know what the outcome is. Oh, do they have a pure here? This is what we use at the, at the hospital. I put these on my patients right here. <laughs> it's the pure wigs. It's something that is, is you know, when you urine, your urine, whatever, you put that in place that or whatever in the pubic area. And then the pubic area, and it goes into this tubing. And the tubing goes right in through to the cylinder right there. It's not the, they have it for kids. All right. It's a lot better than the um, catheter, Foley catheters. Mm. Mm. So we're almost finished. We just have to. Wait for her test. They think that she have a strip throat, strep throat. So we got one more test to do. Oh, well, you know, they're gonna come back and let us know the culture of the test. 
You don't have to do no more tests. They just, I was just letting um, our um, YouTube family know what's going on with you. That's all. And she have, um, we're just waiting for a test. They said it's gonna take 15 minutes uh, for the results to come back. And it just did a swab. Uh, but she had a hard time. She had a hard time with that. They wanted to do a swab and what they did was put a Q-tip, long Q-tip like they do the COVID test, all the way to the back of her throat and we'll swab it. And then um, she had a hard time, so she cried. So we had to kind of hold her hand. I had to hold her hand. Other than that, there's gonna have two other people from the uh, medical and to come and hold her down. But she was, be, she was, be, she began to be a big girl. Don't take this off. It's hurt. They're gonna take it off. Just wait, wait until they take it off. Get on up there and sit down. Go, up, go sit down. Have a seat. They're gonna take it off. You have to wait till they take it off. Okay. Tell them how. Um, you was crying at first, but you was a big girl at the end. No, you want to tell her? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma okay, she don't want to tell you guys. I guess she's feeling much better, you guys. She's, look, she, she, can, she got to wash her hands with the gloves on. That's not even a garbage, that's linen. I thought it was a garbage too. The garbage is right in that little circle hole. She's into everything. No, don't make no water balloons with their gloves. Okay then, look at this girl. Okay. Oh, you feel much better now. You feel a lot better. If you're gonna sit there and make gloves, water blown gloves. Get down. Get in here and sit down. You're supposed to be act like you're sick. But you're doing everything else. Have a seat. Get up there and lay down. Get up there and lay down. Hey. Look at the little seven-year-old. There's nothing wrong with her. How do your throat feel now? It's still crusty. I, I have no idea. We just like to have it in our record. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, she wants to know if she could be in there and get that taken off. Yeah, just pull it off, yeah. Okay, thank you. Want me to pull it off? I can pull it off. Okay. okay. Oh my God. It was circulated. Oh. Look at my squished finger. Yeah, smushed down. They had to put it on there kind of tight. Uh-uh, you could throw that in the garbage. Throw that in the garbage. Throw it in that little hole. What about this? She said, she said take off the these. Yeah, I could take it off. Okay, Dr. Mary Weather. No, put that up there. This um, Dr. Mary Weather. Hey, we have a cousin named Dr. Mary Weather. Dr. Curtis Mary Weather. <laughs> so he stays in, in Texas now. No, Tennessee, Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, she's feeling much better, you guys. She's gonna sit up there and break out the sun chips. Wait a minute, cause we're gonna eat our subway later. No, as soon as we get in the car. As soon as we get in the car. Mm -hmm. They said strep throat is growing, going around, you guys. So, I think she had like a little strep throat. What she said? You cold? Mm -hmm. She's cold now.
Yeah, Caden got the sore throat, which is a strep throat, which is caused by bacteria. So she does have strep throat. Um, so no wonder she wasn't feeling so good. And then the other day she was telling me that her neck was hurting her, but I asked her, you know, was she able to swallow or anything? She said, yeah. But I thought she, you know, said that her neck is hurting that she was outside playing with her friends and it was wrestling. And it probably, you know, had to hurt the wrong way. But yes, my baby has strep throat. Yeah. Has she has strep throat. So that's understandable. I wonder if she, she couldn't, um, swallow anything this morning, but she been eating pretty good. But she never complained about anything about her throat. But her um her neck, yeah. So maybe she probably meant that her her throat, but actually she just said her neck was hurting her. So my baby, are you ready? Come on. We can get ready to go because we gotta do, go pick up your prescription from the pharmacy. Okay. Come on, now put your shoes on. Come on. Now pull your pants up. You can take this off because it's like 107 degrees outside. You want to take it off now? It's still cool in here. Okay. First time with a strep throat. This is your first time with a strep throat, Kaden. Yeah. Another phone. I got. Why well, I gotta hold it? It's hot. Yeah, it got hot. Hold your hold your shirt. Here. This is the Children's Hospital right here, you guys. Okay, we're off. 
we about to go ahead and um, get ready to go home. I gotta get her some soup. And then they said I have to be able to um, go get her another toothbrush. So I have to get her another toothbrush because they didn't want her to get infected again. Um, so I use the same toothbrush. So that's what we're about to do. Uh, oh, if you could be able to swallow it, you could eat it. You hungry? So we're about to uh, go to the house. Go home. I did have to work today, but I'm not going to work today. I just want to make sure that she's okay. And um, I'll sit with her. Be off with her for the day. Then tomorrow she has school. So tomorrow, there will be no school tomorrow because they don't want her to affect anybody else, any other the kids uh, with her strep throat. So we will see you guys later. All okay? game. Thanks for coming with us to the doctor's visits. Her doctor's appointment. Look, the emergency. So I will see you. Say bye. Let's go home. This, actually, let's go get your antibiotics. We can feel much better. Okay, guys. See you later. Bye. Strep throat, so I don't think you could be able to go swimming today. Not at all, because you're sick. Matter of fact, we're about to go get your uh, your antibiotics right now. At home. Yeah, and then go home. Okay. We can rest. That baby can get some rest.